my friends, it's your art teacher, Miss Barnett, and today we've been meeting a new friend, the paintbrush, and we're going to use this friend today to make our very first painting. It's super exciting. So what you're going to need today is a big piece of paper. I'm working on a 12 by 18. If you are working at home, any kind of paper you have is good. Construction paper is probably better um, just because it's a little thicker and it'll hold the water a little bit better. The other thing you might want is some paint. I'm going to use black paint, but any color is fine as long as you only use one color. And if you don't have paint, you can still do this project. You can just practice with water. And um, my pre-K friends, I'm really going to recommend that you guys just practice with water today. When you get a little bit bigger or maybe a little bit further in the year, we can introduce the paint, but you're just going to learn about the paintbrush today. Kindergarten, you can either use water or paint, okay? The other thing if you're working at home that might be helpful parents is to put some tape down so the paper doesn't move wherever you're painting. Um, this is a good activity to do outside if the weather's good. Otherwise, you wanna do it on the floor maybe or on a surface that you're not really worried about water getting spilled on. So we have a water cup, our brushes. You're gonna want a big brush and a little brush today just to experiment. Um, some paint or water and a paper and some tape. Let's get started. Okay, friends, so I've got my area set up. I've taped down my paper so it's not gonna move on me. I've got my palette with my paint in front of me. If you don't have a palette like this at home, most people don't, you can just use a paper plate and you just wanna give maybe about this much paint to your friends, about maybe a nickel or a quarter size paint, not very much. And I've got my water cup and my brushes are sitting ready in the water, ready to get started. So the other thing you want to think about when we're working today is listening to music. I'm going to include a link to um, a playlist for some relaxing music for the kids to listen to while they're working. And it's just a great way to kind of help them get inspired to make different lines, as well as um, you can use it as a signal to stop at home. So when you're ready for your student to stop or you feel like their paper is getting kind of full, just stop the music and that'll be, we'll start using that as a signal to stop work. All right, so I'm going to put my music on. Not too loud got my environment set up and I'm going to take my brush and gently wipe him on the side of my cup to get the extra water off. I'm going to dab him gently in the paint. It's kind of hard to tell because it's black on black, but I did not put all of the bristles in the paint. Just a little bit will get us started. And I'm going to let this song get me listening to it. So I'm going to try maybe a curvy line. And if your paint starts to get a little bit watered down, just get another little dab. Nice. Let's try one of those vertical lines we talked about. We're going to make sure that none of our lines cross one another. We want to give each line some space. Trying all the lines we practiced, horizontal, vertical, curvy, let's do a diagonal, maybe a spiral. You can make up some of your own lines or own marks, whatever you feel like making today. Think about when we invented lines. All right, I feel like that's pretty good with my big brush when I'm done. I swish, swish, because remember we want to keep him clean, we're washing his hair, wipe, spike, and put the handle, hair in the air, tail in the pail. Awesome. Now let's try our little brush. Wipe, dip, 
And now we're going to go into these little, the smaller spaces. Remember, we're not letting any of the lines cross. Let's try holding it at different places too. I noticed that the lines with the smaller brush are a lot skinnier or thinner. What are you noticing with your brush fronts? Remember I'm taking care to stop before I cross a line. And I think I'm done. It didn't take us a lot of time. It might take you a little bit more time than it took me. Remember, I'm gonna swish my brush, wash him really good, wipe him, spike his hair, put the tail in the pail and the hair in the air, and we're done. So when you're done, friends, you're just going to very carefully, you can either leave it taped so it'll dry where it is, or we can take the tape off being careful not to rip. And then we'll put him up to dry. I hope you have as much fun making your line painting as I did mine. And hold on to these because we're going to make something with them next week. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!